A Belen boy is learning a lesson on perseverance after thieves targeted his lemonade stand. He's been selling refreshments all month, raising money for a good cause. And as News 13's Carla Sosa shows us, the snack snatchers are not stopping him from giving back to the community. I got pink. Six-year-old Connor Brock offers a wide variety of refreshments at his lemonade stand. Got orange coffee and purple coffee. Like any good businessman, Connor knows if he's going to make any money, he needs to have a lot of options. I got one muffins, blue beta muffins. Connor has been setting up his lemonade stand all over Belen since the end of June. He's participating in the Lemonade Stand in July Challenge, raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Teach my son about compassion and kindness, empathy, sympathy. You know, I want to model those things so that he learns those things. Connor set out to raise $250, but then his portable business was hit by thieves. The lemonade larcenist didn't leave much behind, stealing his snacks, drinks, and equipment. I explained to him that, you know, someone had stopped and picked those items up and they weren't supposed to, and that that was called stealing. Connor didn't let the bad luck get in the way of reaching his goal. Instead, he was forced to get creative. My husband ran out and grabbed sausage biscuits from McDonald's, um, more oatmeal Z bars, and that's what we had used as the food. The unfortunate circumstances teaching the six-year-old a big lesson in life. One of the Ten Commandments is that we can't steal things. And in business, Carla Sosa, KRQE News 13. Now, Connor has already reached his $250 goal. He's hoping to double that by the end of the month. He's already planning his lemonade stand for next year.